two weeks' time, and we'll be missing for some Sundays. We hope to have a fire back, or at least half the park spaced out to provide us with some Advent and Christmas music. So do return for that. That's Sunday, 13th of December. Now today I'd like to play you a piece by Gershwin, one of my favourite composers. And this is not hard to connect with worship. Uh, but first a little health warning. I got a, if you get a phone call like I did the other day from someone saying they're from Amazon, just remember that it ain't necessarily so. <laughs> um, I lost the ride with them because they're just talking all sorts of rubbish. I knew this couldn't be right and I started, well, I was saying words that a figure should never say. <laughs> So I was just about to tell them where to go to when they voluntarily went themselves. <laughs> uh, uh, are you recording this? Uh, no? Uh, oh, don't you be posting this out on the internet. <laughs> but, uh, um, anyway, um, uh, yes, it ain't necessarily so. One of Gershwin's beautiful songs, uh, Gershwin Brothers. And I love the words in it. And of course they remind us on this, what used to be Bible Sunday in the churches of how do we read and understand the Bible? How do we do that in all souls, Chris? I mean, take, take the stories of the, of the Bible. Take the story about the man, Jonah, who lived in the big fish boat. Well, was it a fish or was it a whale? I mean, theologians have written PhDs about this. Was it a fish? Was it, was it a whale? You know what I think? It's a red herring. Because it's, that story has nothing to do with a fish at all, or a man in a real stomach. It's got to do with obedience. God says, go that way, Jonah, and Jonah decided to go that way. And so much of the truth that is in Scripture is, is contained in allegorical stories, and myths, and legends. And we can derive truth from that, but we don't have to believe them literally. And about Jonah and the whale, the Gershwin brothers came up with this. That Jonah, he lived in a whale. That Jonah, he lived in a whale. And he made his home in that fish's abdomen. <laughs> it ain't necessarily so. I, I, those words very clever. Anyway, the tune also is lovely. Something to look out for in the music of the tune. About four decades before Freddie Mercury thought of it, listen carefully and you might just spot a little snippet from Bohemian Rhapsody. It's that rhythm, if not the melody, that goes thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening. You know that? It ain't necessarily so. 